Welcome back. In video 2 we will discuss the core farmers pack which includes 3 fields to save on prim, plant 15 crop types, a germinator for making seedlings to replant the crops, a stone oven to cook meals for you, and a water well for providing water. Here are the basics. Res one of the fields. There are three fields that work on a channel each, and they're independent of each other. That allows you to save on prem and res multiple crops without using up more prem for larger rows. So I can res cabbage. Click on cabbage in the middle there and hit yes to plant. And as long as I have the items in stock, it will allow you to start planting. It's a three day cycle, typically three days after for the field to be uh, plowed and ready for use again. Now, what if I want more? Well, let's start over and I can de a so field if I need to. I can res some carrots. And there's an invisible prim that you can see over the field. Control T lets you highlight it. Hold down shift and the left mouse button, which is your pointer finger. Click that down and copy the field. Let up and hold down the button again and co slide copy the field. The first one that is over here will disappear. So always make one more than you need. You can repeat that process by, say, resin some celery. Let's get the carrots out of here. Click at the field, res some celery, and do the same thing. Shift and drag, let up, shift, drag, and make a copy. So I have more celery. Then you use the free texture that's available for the um, rows and put that in a single prem on your row of crops. So all crops are copyable, which is an advantage over other systems that will nickel and dime you on every single field. Now what if you just want to be able to resin for inventory? Well you can res cabbage and take to inventory. Celery, right click, take to inventory. Once you have all 15 in your inventory, just drop them into an R Life Crops folder. And you can res them out of your folder to use and form your rows however you please. These three fields are meant to conserve prim if you have a linden home or a parcel that you don't want to use a lot of prim up on. The germinator. The germinator is a key item. Oh, that's our germinator. Let's go to the regular germinator. That allows you to germinate seed to replant the crops. But you'll also need fertilizer, which comes from the livestock pack by getting dung from the horses, using a compost box to make sacks of fertilizer. So those fertilizers you can also get our our life market with coins. Click on the ceiling maker and it tells you you need one potato, tomato, pepper, carrot, corn. It's a few of the things you normally grow with to generate the seedlings in here. As long as you have those ingredients in your bag, you don't have to res them and do them. You can res those sacks, click on them and it transfers it into your bag. You'll be able to start the process of germination. So you're probably asking, how do I get things to my bag? An example is our life fertilizer or ceilings. Any of the items with the green letters over them can be moved to this sack. And all you do is click it. And some are pre-programmed to move a larger amount to it. Like in this case, all the fertilizer goes at once into your bag. So you can start planting. Once it's transparent, it'll say you use it all and you just delete it. Same with seedlings. Now some items you might require two clicks, some are one item per click. And you can start now doing seedlings and go plant some more crops, create and plant more crops. The water well that is included 
and comes with many of the packs is how you get water and we're going to have uh, new water wells coming out different styles for you um, you just click it and basically each time you click it transfers like 10 or so water out of click to your bag so you can start planting and doing different things if you do run out of water and it has been modified to be more just wait one minute and more water will pump up into the well to continue using your oven that is included with the system is a stone oven and this stone oven has three cooking cycles down here at the fire it's your main oven and baked items. You can make like turkey dinner, steak, a potato, stuffed mushroom, roasted venison, with more to come. The pot allows you to cook potted foods like chili, cabbage uh, soup, boiled eggs, oatmeal, and beef stew. Up here, and sorry for the confusion with this plant, up here is your baking dome and when you click that you can actually do pumpkin pie pecan pie honey buns and wheat bread and with new items coming soon including apple pie and chocolate cakes each of these are three independent sections so you can start a dinner in this one we'll do some stuffed mushrooms because you know the elves don't like meat It'll say if you have it in the space, it's cooking. You can cook here and go ahead and make something else for later. Or maybe for breakfast tomorrow you want to make some oatmeal. So we'll go ahead and provide those ingredients. As long as it's in your sack once again. Oh, I need butter. Oh no, it tells me I need butter. So I'm going to rest some butter that I got from the market. And by resting the butter and clicking it, I can start moving the butter right into my bag. Now, let's see if I have all the ingredients. I click yes. If I don't, it'll tell me something's missing. You Nope, I have all the greens, including the brown sugar, and now we're cooking up here as well. A pot of oatmeal will come in one hour. It's one hour per item. It doesn't take days to cook. You don't have to spend all your time cooking. Well, sometimes I like to have something that restores 50% stats. While it is getting towards the fall right now, and people like pumpkin pie, so I'm going to grow some pumpkin pie. It needs milk, eggs, pumpkin, and cinnamon. And it tells you how many of each. We're going to go ahead and cook that and see if I'm missing anything and if I need to go to market or grow something for it. I don't have cinnamon so of course I would have to go to the market for cinnamon and cinnamon is produced by a cinnamon tree by the way I can press my cinnamon click on it and you notice it transfers five at a time but if I click again I'll get another five and then it's going to turn invisible or kind of wishy-washy and you can delete it now, ho, oh, let's see if I have enough to make pumpkin pie. I don't remember if I have pumpkin, but I can always check my back to see. It will tell you if you're missing something. I have all the needed ingredients now. It will start cooking, and that will come in one hour from the time it says it's cooking. So it might get, you know, an hour from this point, an hour from this point, an hour from this point, you'll start getting your food. And that's the basics of using the oven. If you don't like the stone type oven, which is meant for older worlds or, you know, European country type styles, you can get modern ovens in various colors. And it works the same. The pot does potted when you open the lid. And make sure when you resin and move it together, you move the lid and the stove uh, oven together. And then right click and reset the script in the, the door here so it will hinge correctly when aligned. The crock down here is the main dinners, and the tray up here is for baked goods. And that's using if you prefer to have a oven in a different color that's modern. 
if you need a oven to match specific de decor I can actually um, make one for you and customize the color for you and that's the basics of the core farmers pack has 15 main crops the oven water well and germinated for making more seeds and I hope you like this video and hope you enjoy farming